A long time ago, a really long time ago, <laughs> not that long ago, we don't know when exactly, but there lived some of the world's first scientists. These weren't your typical scientists. They began by letting their minds get very still, and in this quiet space, they were able to discover amazing things and uncover incredible secrets about the human body, mind, and consciousness. They discovered things like the way you breathe affects the way you feel, and what you eat affects how you think. They noticed to function well, the mind and memory need rest, and that meditation is the deepest rest of all, giving you incredible amounts of energy. They also discovered that experiences can cloud our vision by getting stuck in our minds. Meditation can clear these out, so we hear, see, and feel more clearly. These scientists, or seers, would compare notes and then share their knowledge with the community. As you know, in this time, people didn't have Twitter, Facebook, or phones, so information spread incredibly slow from one person to another and from group to group. Over time, what the seers had learned got lost and was misunderstood, until those who had been in the deepest of meditations were able to rediscover its secrets and restore it. Meditation is universal, just like you don't have to be Italian to eat pasta. Fast forward to the modern day. People that were searching for a deeper meaning to life traveled the globe and learned that some of the greatest seers lived in India. The seekers listened, asked questions, and found something important. In doing so, they began to share it. What if everyone could have a more peaceful and clear mind? Could we study less and get better grades? What about run faster, be smarter, better, stronger, wiser? We are all connected. We can create a better world, and it starts with something as simple as closing your eyes, meditating, and feeling a deeper connection with yourself. When you feel good, you treat others around you better, and the cycle continues. Who would have thought that the work of ancient scientists would have the power to transform our world today? To really open your eyes, sometimes you have to close them.